Keep your elbows off the table and don't talk with your mouth full. These are popular reprimands we've all heard while sitting around the dinner table. If you're planning on traveling abroad, minding your manners may be a bit harder than you thought, though. In the video today, we're looking at some dining taboos from all around the world. Number 10. Asian Noodles Taboo In Asian countries, it is known that rice and noodles are the staples of their diets. Eating a bowl of pasta seems pretty cut and dry. You pick it up, you put it in your mouth. But if you're in China, chopping your noodles in half will definitely draw a few dirty looks. To the Chinese, long noodles represent longevity. It is customary for people to slurp up a heaping bowl of lengthy noodles on their birthday. If your mum might have a fit watching you have noodles wag from your mouth, well, tell her not to blame you and just say it's Chinese tradition. In addition to watching your noodles, you better be careful where you point your chopsticks. It's rude to aim them at another person. That we can understand, but the don't flip your fish on your plate is a bit unusual. But who are we to argue with tradition? This one is mainly practiced in areas that rely on fishing. Apparently, flipping your fish over is symbolic of the boat capsizing. Neighboring Japan has its fair share of intriguing dinner taboos, too. They, too, are particular about their chopstick placement. In both countries, it's frowned upon when you poke your sticks straight into a bowl of rice. It's a practice that is reserved for funeral services and a sign of disrespect for the dead when done any other time. If you're out in a restaurant, the owner will take offense. This apparently is a sign of you cursing his business. Number 9. New Guinea Menstrual as if that time of the month isn't already filled with an overflow of emotions, women in New Guinea must take care not to violate traditional taboo. According to their customs, women on the cycle are viewed as being ill. To heal themselves, they aren't allowed to eat fresh meat, red fruit, or juicy bananas. On top of everything else, they have to watch their step as well. Anyone who eats food prepared by a menstruating woman or a meal she's stepped over is believed to be destined for a horrible cough. The usual victim is the woman's husband. Some even believe this illness could lead to his death. In Papua New Guinea, the Wagyo only believe blood is dirty when it comes from a woman's menstrual cycle. In fact, they even say that those who come into contact with this blood are likely to die. As with the majority of ancient customs and taboos, no one really knows when or why they started. They've just been passed along and people have been told not to dare to question tradition. Number 8. Don't go Dutch In America, some men would jump for joy if a woman offered to pay for half of the date. Well, in France and Russia, the independent woman mentality is not welcome. When picking up the tab, it's all or nothing over there. Only an uncivilized person would only pay for half the bill. In fact, most women won't even bring their wallets on a date. It's just a not-so-subtle reminder that she's not paying for anything. Since we're on the topic, it's also expected to dress for the occasion. Jeans and a tee are never okay. In Russia, it's viewed as an honor to get acquainted with someone new when getting ready for your date dress formal. So, say you were invited to eat at someone's home. It's extremely rude to show up empty-handed. When you're first greeted, it's also taboo to shake hands through a doorway. Also, don't ask for a to-go box or a doggy bag. In America, it's often seen as a sign that you love the meal so much that you want to take it home, but in France, it's the exact opposite. Number 7. Italians are sensitive about their cheese The American Italian dining experience is normally tailored around ordering lasagna from Olive Garden. On the contrary, an authentic experience in Italy will vary quite a bit. First thing to remember, don't insult the chef by asking for more cheese. Instead, you might get a swift whopping by an old loaf of garlic bread. Seafood in Italy isn't meant to have cheese on it. If you ask nicely, the chef might oblige, but most of the time, you'll just get a dirty look. Also, Italians take their meal definitions very seriously. Breakfast food is for breakfast, lunch is for lunch, and so on. Ordering a cappuccino after breakfast is not cool. More milk than what's in a macchiato after midday is not acceptable. And you don't need to speak Italian to understand this one. They will make it perfectly clear that you've crossed the line. Also, when you're offered food, proper etiquette says that you should always decline the first time. After they insist again, you humbly accept and merrily enjoy the cuisine. Number 6. Tardy Tanzania this dining taboo is one we can get used to. Americans pride themselves on arriving promptly on time, well, most of them, but in Tanzania, it is considered rude to show up to an invitation early. As a sign of respect, guests should always wait 15 to 20 minutes after the affair's commencement to make an appearance. If you're looking for something to wear, loose-fitting clothing is always appropriate. Most meals are enjoyed while sitting on the floor. Also, Tanzanian men and women don't eat together. In fact, taboo prevents men from entering the kitchen at all. And that's a card we know a bunch of men wish they could pull. Also, a bowl of water and a towel will be passed around for you to clean your hands. This, as well as the ugali, or communal bowl for the meal, must all be passed only with the right hand. Number 5. You can't eat melons in the US Most of you watching are American, so you're probably thinking, I've got American etiquette down. What else can you possibly teach me, Simon? 
Well, I bet you didn't know that you could be arrested for eating watermelon in Beech Grove, Indiana. This wacky law applies to Beech Grove's parks. It was established after a bunch of watermelon pierced park trash bags, making a terrible mess. So when you're in Indiana, do watch out for this law. But we're not finished with the US of A just yet. If you thought park-eating watermelon offenses were crazy, then don't ever visit Gainesville, Georgia. To this day, it is illegal to eat fried chicken with anything but your hands. Passed in 1961, these crazy outdated taboos normally go overlooked. One bucky 91-year-old's friends thought it would be funny to have her arrested for eating her birthday meal with utensils. It was just a joke, though. Everyone had a good laugh, and the charges were officially dropped. Number 4. Be careful what the baby eats Jamaicans believe children should not be given chicken before they can talk or else the baby will never speak. They even believe that infants who drink milk from the bottle will grow up to be drunks. In Nigeria, children are not allowed to eat eggs out of fear that it will cause them to steal when they get older. Silly as it may sound to us, if this is what has been passed down from generation to generation, would you rather go with the flow or risk raising a sticky-fingered mute? Some even say that pregnant women should stay away from eggs for the same reason. Sweet food, snails, puffer meat, and cola nuts are also added to an expectant Nigerian's list of foods to avoid. The reasons behind this taboo vary from causing the baby to drool all over itself to having scaly skin. Number 3. Eat with the right, wipe with the left This taboo is respected in many different nations. African, Caribbean, and even Muslim countries all believe that only the right hand should be used for eating. For certain hygienic reasons, these customs teach that each of our hands serves its own purpose. The left is solely for wiping. We touched on it earlier, but the eat with the right, wipe with the left taboo deserves further explanation. If overlooked, you pose greater risk of offending others. Not only should you dine with your right hand, it is the only one to be used in greetings. When arriving for a meal, never offer the left hand to shake with. Some will give you a pass on holding a cup with your left hand, but never ever wipe your mouth with it. To be on the safe side, keep it under the table, put it between your legs, or even sit on it. Do whatever you need to do to keep from being offensive. Number 2. A polite goodbye Hopefully, you never get too thirsty in Kazakhstan. If you happen to order a cup of tea, don't look at it as half empty. See the miniature portion of your steaming drink as a nice, warm, half-full hug. Never ask the server to pour you some more, because in Kazakhstan, a full cup of tea is the most polite way we've ever heard of telling someone that they've overstayed their welcome. The people of Kazakhstan drink tea about six times per day. Now we can understand why they use it as a form of communication. Formerly a nomadic society, the people of the Republic still carry deep superstitious beliefs. Tea is only consumed warm. They believe that cold drinks will make you sick. Aside from telling you to get out, the half-full cups of tea also show how much the guests want to be able to serve you during your visit. The passing of an empty cup for a refill is a courteous act hosts love to participate in. Number 1. Don't eat with your hands Some customs tell you which hands to use, but if you're traveling to Chile, you better grab your utensils. Chileans never eat anything by hands. Even the smallest French fry must be stabbed with a fork. Pizza, chicken nuggets, and whatever else you can think of. The people of Chile don't believe in finger food at all. Usually, dinner is not served until 8 p.m. or later. Even if you're ravished with hunger, keep those hands out of your mouth. Further, licking your fingers or utensils is considered vulgar. Avoiding that temptation is perhaps one of the reasons they eat everything with utensils. It's basically standard European manners taken to the max. Also in Chile, it's really important to know which utensils serve which purpose. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. And as always, thank you for watching.